this is this is for the benefit of the young doctors and nurses yes. and other people to appreciate the records. Exactly. remember before we had the NHS and our treasury plan that it cannot improve on the state funded health service. It's cheaper, it's better, it's better organised. And I cannot wait for the Tory government to lose the power uh, and get a government that actually appreciates the national health service and the public health service. Right, we said we Absolutely, when I had my two hips replaced. And I do know that junior doctors work very, very hard indeed. Um, for the work they do, they should be respected and regarded very highly. I don't believe that either of us would be alive were it not for the work of those junior doctors that spotted those cancerous cells that supported my daughter when she was born and I was expertly cared for by junior doctors who were very considerate, who took me through my treatment, who told me, you know, when they would discharge me. But um, both surgeries were done on a Saturday and there they were working very, very hard supporting us. And I remember when they came to Fitz Andrew for the anaesthetic and the anaesthetist or and the nurse, they said to me, will you tell the general that we do work on a Saturday? And I thought, is he listening? But I recently heard that Jeremy Hunter pushed an investigation into um, why junior doctors have such bad morale. So I suggest he just goes out and buys a mirror. <laughs> um, yeah, just stop it, go away. Um, but the one thing I'd like to say, I mean, Jeremy, Jeremy Hunt, he is killing the profession. He's not helping it because the way he's treating these young professionals, they're going to go abroad or change to other professions. And the one thing I'd like to ask David Cameron is, are we all in it together? <laughs> well, as once you've you're on the front line once you're actually in hospital caring for somebody or with that person. I'm sure the doctors themselves feel this. Um, suddenly the things that you hear on the radio and on the news start to become, they certainly sound a lot like laughable nonsense. And I'm absolutely fed up with hearing pie in the sky, unsubstantiated, unevidenced nonsense from Jeremy Hunt. Quite often, I've been seen by junior doctors, and I think they do a lot of hard work, and they are the linchpin of the Lucian uh, uh, Hospital or every hospital care. But I've never seen or heard of the kind of things that's been happening recently with this uh, lack of funding. I am deeply disgusted with the way Jeremy Hunt and the Prime Minister are cutting right, left and centre of the NHS. It's for the people and the people deserve to have a treatment because they pay their taxes and the National Health Service is supposed to be free for everybody and we don't want to end up starting to charge patients. It's, a, it's absolutely diabolical that the government have decided to impose the contract. It's wrong, it's not safe. And um, coupled with the fact that they are withdrawing the student bursaries from all ranges of health workers, it just means that we will not in the future have sufficient junior doctors employed in our hospitals and we won't have the sufficient range of um, healthcare workers to provide the safe, supportive system that we need. And the idea that this is going to lead to a, a properly organised and funded seven days a week health service is, is just, it's just laughable. And I think that there must be lots and lots of people 
that should speak out against what is happening to So don't mess with my NHS. Oh, just one other thing. Any, what are you thinking about donating some blood? We need it. Keep on doing it. Don't give up. You know, just that little bit extra is going to help a lot of people. Go for it. Thanks, guys.